Hello boys and girls, my name is Hatsasi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. Behind me I have outlined uh, four chunks, one there, then three in a row down there, uh, which are slime chunks. So further down there should be slime spawning because the setup we have uh, below our village that does not really cut the uh, slime need that we will have shortly. So we have to find a way to uh, eliminate all the uh, blocks that stand in the way between us here on top and the slimes further down. The way we get to our hole here is by TNT duping. We already have one. Seeing that slime is currently the thing we are trying to get, I constructed this uh, contraption using honey, which should do just as fine. So let's assemble this and then the piston and then we should be able to assemble it here again and see if this works. Yes, the TNT is still there. So let's see if this works reliably. Yes, and by the looks of it, um, we cover this side quite well. So the problem here will be that eventually the hole is so deep that we can no longer climb out and of course any block that we are placing um, on the side will be blown up uh, in the next round um, but that's not the uh, issue here i think um, we will just blast a hole until the TNT no longer reaches down, then move over until we have basically uh, cleared out the complete uh, chunk here. Uh, and then we will do that uh, over there as well. And seeing that here we have three chunks in line, uh, we can somewhat stagger this. So one chunk goes all the way down, then something in the middle, and then something further up, and then we can uh, do a bit of uh, a staircase on the side. There are a few things to mention here while seeing the whole forming. First off, it was a good decision to use honey blocks instead of slime. I started off with a full stack and uh, at the end had about half a stack left. Uh, the rest got lost to the abyss. Then I also intended to create this hole all the way down to bedrock. But seeing how long it took me to get half of it down, I think I will stick uh, at least for the three long chunks on this level and then uh, eventually uh, extend this further down. And uh, we will see how that goes. At least out of the corner of my eye, I saw slimes spawning down there, probably more slime than I ever saw in the uh, other three slime chunks so far. So uh, 
let's get the actual farm uh, set up down there. I have to confess, at this point I've been a bit procrastinating. I could not decide which type of slime farm I want to do. Do I want to have the level as low as possible or do I want to have enough space below it so I can continue blasting out the rest of it? Do I want one layer? Where are the uh, iron golem placed? So, uh, yeah. And... Uh, yeah, but I came to a conclusion. Uh, basically, we will place everything down on uh, the uh, lowest layer. This is the platform design I decided on. Um, we have three chunks in this direction and roughly uh, between the middle chunks we have one place uh, for the iron golem. So main question here is how uh, will this work out? Because um, we have to ensure that uh, they do not drop down and they might be attracted to uh, the mobs that run around here. So I think we will do is have a bit of iron here on this level. Right. Same in. Okay, we have that one corner. Uh, let's see if we can get the other corner as well. On. Move over. Mm, I can also try to uh, push him up. That one down there. There is still a block floating up there. Um, yeah, then let's bring him over to this corner. Um, push him up there. And then we have it down there. Then we might actually be able. Yes. Nice. And this should work. The collection system and killing system is quite simple. We have a bunch of hoppers down here all leading into this double chest. And on top of here we will have campfires. Preferably uh, this variant because it kills them just a tiny bit faster and to ensure that they do not get out we will place walls around here and that should give us a decent amount of slimes.
Now that everything is in place, we can actually see if this works better than the uh, other farm. However, first I will go around, light up some caves. That should certainly help. And this farm is AFKable, so that probably also helps to get a bit more drops. So that's it for me. And uh, I will end this episode with a time lapse of uh, hopefully uh, working slime farm. See you then. Goodbye.